get started, press start with the stylus, hit F1 to select new order, scroll down with the joystick, and hit enter. You're now at a blank order pad. Scan an item, for example right here we scanned Arizona iced tea, and you can scroll to the right with the stylus to see all the information you need to see about that item. Scroll back. Let's enter another item number. You can key in item numbers if you want to. So we'll just do that with this. Alternating blue and white lines so it's easier to read your order. Scan something twice and you'll increase the quantity to two, three, or as many as you want. If your distributor has set it up so that you have specials highlighted in yellow, you will see them as soon as you scan or enter them. You can also scroll down with the joystick and alter the quantity using the number pad and hit enter after you hit the quantity that you want. Let's find an item that maybe you don't have in front of you or a barcode to scan. To find an item in the database, you're going to hit F1, scroll down to find item, hit enter. Now you have a blank search field. And you want to hit the alpha key to switch over to alpha mode so you can enter letters instead of numbers. This is just like texting on a mobile phone. So we're going to type in the word SOLO, S-O-L-O, -O, and hit enter to begin the search. This is going to find everything with the word SOLO or with that character string in there that's in your database. We scroll down to what we want and you enter the quantity the way you did before with the numerical key. Now make sure you switch back to numerical mode after entering alpha text. We're going to get two of those. Hit the red phone to go back to your order and you'll see that it's on the order that we're working on. So we've confirmed it's there. Now we're going to look at order guides for if your distributor has those set up. Order guides can be a list of any items for any reason at all like seasonal or specials. F1 again down to order guides, hit enter. Here are all of the order guides that are available to you. So just hit enter to open an order guide. Now if you have already ordered something that's on an order guide that you're looking at, you'll see that the quantity is represented like on that Arizona iced tea. Let's scroll down, take a good look at everything, see what we want. Let's get some of this teriyaki jack links. You can sort by quantity, description, or any of those other column headers. So if you want to look at the order guide in alphabetical order, just hit it like that. And now it's uh, moved into alphabetical order, so it's a little bit easier to navigate for you. Add the items to your order by highlighting them and altering the quantity. Make sure you always hit enter after you update the quantity. You can also double tap with your stylus in the quantity field. When you're finished, red phone out, and then red phone to back out again. If you want to delete an item off your order, highlight that item, and press F7. Remember, you have to use the function keys to make an F7. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to delete this item. Yes is already highlighted, so enter for yes, or you can also tap yes or no with the stylus. So let's say we are finished with this order. Hit the red phone to close the order. And ask if it's ready to send, you say yes, which is already highlighted, so you either hit enter or press yes with the stylus. And it's ready to send. Plug in now to your modem, PC, or Ethernet. 
green opens this communications menu and you're going to select OK. After the unit communicates, you'll see the word buy. You're going to click continue on the communication menu. Let's take a look at the orders we've taken. F1, scroll down. And this is your order log. You can scroll to the right as before to see more information on the orders you've already placed. Scroll back to the left. Red phone to back out of that. And hit file, exit with the stylus when you're finished. Oh.